Carthage. Okay, let's talk about, first of all, um, the whole cystic fibrosis tour, the grid runner tour that you're uh, embarking on. How did it come about? Probably it started um, a few years ago with the tragic death of uh, David Smith, who was a patient in St. Vincent's Hospital where I work. And um, I suppose it led on from there. Um, we had, uh, I suppose at the time, um, Eminem was playing Oxygen and David wanted to go to it. And unfortunately, David passed away before he was able to make it. And um, and, and, and so as a result of that, uh, I, I suppose cystic fibrosis came to the forefront. And it has been at the forefront uh, because I knew David. Um, not well, but I knew him when he was a patient in the hospital. And I just really felt, um, starting with this album and going forward with this album, I really wanted to this album to be about, I suppose, the charities. So every single gig on this tour is going to be for a different charity. Mm. Um, this one uh, was for cystic fibrosis, um, and there will be an, a, another gig in the autumn for cystic fibrosis in Dublin. And then there will be a number of, of charities nominated for each individual sh show after that, um, which we'll be doing over the next 18 months or so. Yeah, I was just going to say, is there a limit on it, or uh, are um, you going to give it a certain time? You know? it's, it's, it's rolling. The album comes out in, um, in the autumn. We don't have a specific date, so it's Grid Runner, and the title of the album is The Ghost of Julius Mayer. Mm. And it's due to be out in the autumn hopefully September October is the is is the time frame we're going to release a single uh, and and then probably another single um, um, and 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 drip feed it in and then the album and um, but certainly the the focus of the, the live performance and the tour component is going to be that every single um, gig on the tour will be for a different charity so the profits from each of them will go to uh, whatever particular nominated charity is involved at that time. Now, for people listening in, you may or may not recognise Carthage's voice. You might not even remember his name, but I wonder how many people out there will remember you from your fiction days. So we'll go back quite a while. You were, we were saying talking earlier on, that's back into the mid-90s? That was late, that was 1999. Mid, yeah. We released, uh, it was my first band, Fiction, and uh, released... Um, released a test of time which was the first single that we did and we were fortunate enough that it, it charted uh, and and we got uh, some lovely uh, and much appreciated coverage from yourself <laughs> um, and um, and we got we got we, we, we did all the usual gigs and, and promotional stuff um, at the time um, and learned an awful lot about um, the music business in as you would as an early band and yeah. what it means to be gigging and playing and touring and that kind of thing and learn the lessons and then it ran its course and 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 at that stage then I uh, but just staying playing music I I kind of had an opportunity to pursue a, a different field or a different line of work uh, which I did in the interim couldn't get much different. <laughs> no, no. How could you? Uh, no, I don't think you could. Um, I think you've c c kind of, I've, I've definitely uh, the 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 yin and the yang, um, <laughs> and uh, the Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Uh, so I went into medicine, and uh, and then went on to specialise in emergency medicine mm. and trauma, and um, and that's what I do. And I work in St Vincent's University Hospital in Dublin. Um, but I was doing music long before I was doing that, mm. and um, so I've in, in the interim I've recorded and kind of fully produced two other albums. So you've been you've been in touch with your music side alongside your medical career. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I work with Pat Dunn, who's a producer, um, who's a um, a, a well known um, established producer here in this country, and um, we've we've done two albums um, and. People like David Keegan, mm. um, from, who, who would have who's involved in various acts, but played on the uh, first Ballots One album, um, and right down to Shane Fitzsimons, who uh, played Damien Rice on bass, um, and kind of a, a pull on pull on various people and uh, and get them involved, and uh, Fergal Davis mastering, um, and 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 we've recorded the album between here and New York. Um, and with those other two albums that I did initially, um, they were fully produced and done, but they weren't really released or promoted because mm. I was working in, or I was, I was a medical student and then I was working as a doctor. 
as a junior doctor and I, I, I did I maintained a foothold in music because I really kind of felt it biting at me so I they're done and, and, and ready uh, and now this is, this is the Grid Runner album so how much does uh, does the sound of Grid Runner differ from say from the Friction days oh it's com- I mean I think I'd like to I'd like to think it's <laughs> it's a more mature sound mm. um, certainly I well, suppose by definition all the years that have passed that's going to be the case but yeah. you know is the core sound still there or is it completely different um, I I, I, I don't. I don't really know. Certainly, uh, from from the first two albums that I did, and um, which will be released in time, um, under Grid Runner, uh, and um, I, I think that there is a certainly. There's definitely a a a, a theme, and there's a, a common, um, I suppose, thread through the albums. Mm. Um, but but uh, I, I would I would like, as any artist would, would would like to think that you know that that you've progressed and grown and and, and maybe. Um, you know, not made the same errors again, or repeated yourself too much, or made the same album again, which is yeah. an easy thing to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you find you, you fall into your comfortable ways. If it ain't broke, things. don't fix it. Type attitude. Yeah, exactly. And 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 that's the great thing working with Pat Dunn. He's he's a great producer, and so far as he really does challenge you and pushes you to. To, into your area where you're not comfortable, right out of your comfort zone, and that's a good place to be because yeah. it means that you, um, you 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 discover new new ways of doing things, and you discover um, new styles, you discover new, uh, I suppose, new 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 bents on on particular uh, ways of achieving um, things within music within a song, and um, as opposed to just doing the same old thing again. Uh, so it's it's about just being progressive and, and and trying to, I think, expand and that in itself becomes very um, satisfying uh, and 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 you you come away with something that was different from the last project. Mm. Um, so Grid Runner, um, the name really is is it, it reflects the modern day where we are. Mm. Um, I think that um, everybody is is we live in an incredibly commercial corporate world. Everybody is like a hamster on a wheel. It would seem, um, working the working for the man, working the eight to eight job. And it used to be nine to five, I think, back twenty years ago. Yeah. But, but it's no longer nine yeah. to five for anyone. I don't think anymore. No, no. And people are busy, focused on trying to keep their heads above water. They're they're busy on trying to earn enough money, make a promotion, get a bonus, get you know. And I, I just find certainly I see working in my job in in emergency medicine. Um, that when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter who you are or what your background is or how wealthy or how poor you are. It's the same things that matter at the end of the day for everybody. And sometimes it's too late when people realize that. And that's the really sad thing. And so Grid Runner is a, refle- is a reflection, the title on that concept that we're in the modern world all running the grid. Mm. And people are, you know, uh, almost like hamsters on wheels in today's modern world. Mm. Mm. People spent 99% of the time focusing um, on, in my opinion, um, often all the wrong things. Mm. Um, mm. When the, the, the things that matter are the simple things uh, that are right in front of all of us that are actually available to all of us all the time. When can we expect the album to land? I hope that the album is nearly finished. It's, it's going to master in the next couple of weeks. We're just at the, the very end stage of post-production mixing. Um, I would expect the album to land uh, in the autumn, uh, I think September, October is, re- is realistic. Uh, and we will be, um, we will be, we'll be playing gigs b- uh, in the interim and around that time and after that time and, um, and, and seeing where it goes. Um, so it will essentially be a charity tour and uh, we'll be tackling the charities uh, that, that, that are concerned with the very important areas. Lots of too many to, to list, obviously, now, but once it come to mind, Depression, um, suicide, homelessness, um, breast cancer, men's health, multiple sclerosis, um, as many as, as, you ma- could, as many yeah. as you as yeah. you could really think of. And if we think of more charities along the way, um, where we think that we could benefit them, uh, we would uh, we'll just put another show on, uh, and and we'll do it that way. Um, and, and I'm very much looking forward to it, and it's a nice way of. Of getting the music out there and, and, and mm. I suppose keeping the connection between music and what what matters in the world or what should matter in the world in this incredibly volatile world we live in, particularly at the moment. Well, I've always believed that music 
has the power to change the world. And, uh, you know, if more people kind of copped on to that, maybe little, the, the world might be quite as uh, messed up as it is at the moment. Who knows? You know? Absolutely. Uh, I, I think that uh, certainly you find that um, even this, with, with the cystic fibrosis gig, the, the, pe- the various people that came together to make it work uh, were people who um, came together as a result of musical connections, mm. um, right down to yourself. And... Uh, and, and, and you know that that's for a, a cause that is unrelated to music, um, but yet it's benefiting that cause. Yeah, and, and so in, in doing that, it's 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 pro- it's providing something and giving something back. Well, you know, it's been great meeting up with you. I mean, it's it's been too long since you and I uh, were met physically, as it were, and it's great to see that you're still involved in the business as well. And uh, you 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 gave me a timely reminder earlier on. Of, of the fiction days uh, and uh, so much time has passed in, in, in then and so much has happened between our lives you know in your own lives and it's great to connect with you again so to speak and that's the power of music again perhaps what goes around comes around well I hope you know? so and it's been a real pleasure already meeting you and I hope that we'll, uh, we'll see you uh with you shortly uh, at uh, one of the one of the gigs, uh, either down here or uh, in Dublin. All going and, well. Uh, yeah. We will keep you uh, up to date with everything we're doing, and thank you very much for all your Good. support. Look forward, to, look forward to the Great Runner album when it, when it does surface, uh, Carthy. Uh, likewise, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it too. It's been a while <laughs> in production, but it's uh, it's exciting, and uh, it's always great to reconnect uh, with, with, with the musical side of things. And I'm looking yeah. forward to taking it out live. Good, Carthy. Thanks a million. Thanks very much, Roddy.